An ocean is a body of saline water that composes much of a planet's hydrosphere. On Earth, an ocean is one of the major conventional divisions of the world ocean, which covers almost 71% of its surface. These are, in descending order by area, the Pacific, Atlantic, Indian, Southern, and Arctic Oceans. The word sea is often used interchangeably with ocean in American English but, strictly speaking, a sea is a body of saline water partly or fully enclosed by land. Saline water covers approximately 72% of the planet's surface and is customarily divided into several principal oceans and smaller seas, with the ocean covering approximately 71% of Earth's surface. The ocean contains 97% of Earth's water, and oceanographers have stated that less than 5% of the world ocean has been explored. The total volume is approximately 1.35 billion cubic kilometers with an average depth of nearly 3,700 meters. As it is the principal component of Earth's hydrosphere, the world ocean is integral to all known life, forms part of the carbon cycle, and influences climate and weather patterns. It is the habitat of 230,000 known species, although much of the ocean's depths remain unexplored, and over 2 million marine species are estimated to exist. The origin of Earth's oceans remains unknown. Oceans are thought to have formed in the Hadean period and may have been the impetus for the emergence of life. Extraterrestrial oceans may be composed of water or other elements and compounds. The only confirmed large stable bodies of extraterrestrial surface liquids are the lakes of Titan. Although there is evidence for the existence of oceans elsewhere in the solar system, early in their geologic histories, Mars and Venus are theorized to have had large water oceans. The Mars Ocean Hypothesis suggests that nearly a third of the surface of Mars was once covered by water, and a runaway greenhouse effect may have boiled away the global ocean of Venus. Compounds such as salts and ammonia dissolved in water lower its freezing point, so that water might exist in large quantities in extraterrestrial environments as brine or convecting ice. Unconfirmed oceans are speculated beneath the surface of many dwarf planets and natural satellites. Notably, the ocean of Europa is estimated to have over twice the water volume of Earth. The solar system's giant planets are also thought to have liquid atmospheric layers of yet-to-be-confirmed compositions. Oceans may also exist on exoplanets and exomoons, including surface oceans of liquid water within a circumstellar habitable zone. Ocean planets are a hypothetical type of planet with a surface completely covered with liquid. Earth's global ocean. Oceanic divisions though generally described as several separate oceans, these waters comprise one global, interconnected body of salt water sometimes referred to as the world ocean or global ocean. This concept of a continuous body of water with relatively free interchange among its parts is of fundamental importance to oceanography. The major oceanic divisions, listed below in descending order of area and volume, are defined in part by the continents, various archipelagos, and other criteria. NB, volume, area, and average depth figures include NOAAETOP01 figures for marginal South China Sea, sources, Encyclopedia of Earth, International Hydrographic Organization, Regional Oceanography, An Introduction, Encyclopedia Britannica, and the International Telecommunication Union. Oceans are fringed by smaller, adjoining bodies of water such as seas, gulfs, bays, bights, and straits. Physical properties The total mass of the hydrosphere is about 1.4 quintillion metric tons, which is about 0.023% of Earth's total mass. Less than 3% is fresh water, the rest is salt water, almost all of which is in the ocean. The area of the world ocean is about 361.9 million square kilometers, which covers about 70.9% of Earth's surface and its volume is approximately 1.335 billion cubic kilometers. This can be thought of as a cube of water with an edge length of 1,101 kilometers. 
Its average depth is about 3,688 meters, and its maximum depth is 10,994 meters at the Mariana Trench. Nearly half of the world's marine waters are over 3,000 meters deep. The vast expanses of deep ocean cover about 66% of Earth's surface. This does not include seas not connected to the world ocean, such as the Caspian Sea. The bluish color of water is a composite of several contributing agents. Prominent contributors include dissolved organic matter and chlorophyll. Sailors and other mariners have reported that the ocean often emits a visible glow, or luminescence, which extends for miles at night. In 2005, scientists announced that for the first time, they had obtained photographic evidence of this glow. It is most likely caused by bioluminescence. Oceanic zones Oceanographers divide the ocean into different zones by physical and biological conditions. The pelagic zone includes all open ocean regions, and can be divided into further regions categorized by depth and light abundance. The photic zone includes the oceans from the surface to a depth of 200 meters. It is the region where photosynthesis can occur and is, therefore, the most biodiverse. Because plants require photosynthesis, life found deeper than the photic zone must either rely on material sinking from above or find another energy source. Hydrothermal vents are the primary source of energy in what is known as the aphotic zone. The pelagic part of the photic zone is known as the epipelagic. The pelagic part of the aphotic zone can be further divided into vertical regions according to temperature. The mesopelagic is the uppermost region. Its lowermost boundary is at a thermocline of 12 degrees Celsius, which, in the tropics, generally lies at 700 minus 1000 meters. Next is the bathypelagic lying between 10 and 4 degrees Celsius, typically between 700 minus 1000 meters and 2000 minus 4000 meters lying along the top of the abyssal plain is the abyssopelagic whose lower boundary lies at about 6,000 meters. The last zone includes the deep oceanic trench and is known as the Hadalpelagic. This lies between 6,000 minus 11,000 meters and is the deepest oceanic zone. The benthic zones are aphotic and correspond to the three deepest zones of the deep sea. The bathyal zone covers the continental slope down to about 4,000 meters. The abyssal zone covers the abyssal plains between 4,000 and 6,000 meters. Lastly, the Hadal zone corresponds to the Hadal pelagic zone, which is found in oceanic trenches. The pelagic zone can be further subdivided into two subregions, the neritic zone and the oceanic zone. The neritic zone encompasses the water mass directly above the continental shelves whereas the oceanic zone includes all the completely open water. In contrast, the littoral zone covers the region between low and high tide and represents the transitional area between marine and terrestrial conditions. It is also known as the intertidal zone because it is the area where tide level affects the conditions of the region. The ocean can be divided into three density zones, the surface zone, the pusnocline, and the deep zone. The surface zone, also called the mixed layer, refers to the uppermost density zone of the ocean. Temperature and salinity are relatively constant with depth in this zone due to currents and wave action. The surface zone contains ocean water that is in contact with the atmosphere and within the photic zone. The surface zone has the ocean's least dense water and represents approximately 2% of the total volume of ocean water. The surface zone usually ranges between depths of 500 feet to 3,300 feet below ocean surface, but this can vary a great deal. In some cases, the surface zone can be entirely non-existent. The surface zone is typically thicker in the tropics than in regions of higher latitude. The transition to colder, dense or water is more abrupt in the tropics than in regions of higher latitudes. The pusnocline refers to a zone wherein density substantially increases with depth due primarily to decreases in temperature. 
The Pusnacline effectively separates the lower density surface zone above from the higher density deep zone below. The Pusnacline represents approximately 18% of the total volume of ocean water. The deep zone refers to the lowermost density zone of the ocean. The deep zone usually begins at depths below 3,300 feet in mid latitudes. The deep zone undergoes negligible changes in water density with depth. The deep zone represents approximately 80% of the total volume of ocean water. The deep zone contains relatively colder and stable water. If a zone undergoes dramatic changes in temperature with depth, it contains a thermocline. The tropical thermocline is typically deeper than the thermocline at higher latitudes. Polar waters, which receive relatively little solar energy, are not stratified by temperature and generally lack a thermocline because surface water at polar latitudes are nearly as cold as water at greater depths. Below the thermocline, water is very cold, ranging from minus 1 degree Celsius to 3 degrees Celsius. Because this deep and cold layer contains the bulk of ocean water, the average temperature of the world ocean is 3.9 degrees Celsius if a zone undergoes dramatic changes in salinity with depth, it contains a halocline. If a zone undergoes a strong, vertical chemistry gradient with depth, it contains a chemocline. The halocline often coincides with the thermocline, and the combination produces a pronounced pisnocline. Exploration ocean travel by boat dates back to prehistoric times, but only in modern times has extensive underwater travel become possible. The deepest point in the ocean is the Mariana Trench, located in the Pacific Ocean near the northern Mariana Islands. Its maximum depth has been estimated to be 10,971 meters. The British naval vessel Challenger II surveyed the trench in 1951 and named the deepest part of the trench the Challenger Deep. In 1960, the Trieste successfully reached the bottom of the trench, manned by a crew of two men. Climate ocean currents greatly affect Earth's climate by transferring heat from the tropics to the polar regions, transferring warm or cold air and precipitation to coastal regions. Winds may carry them inland. Surface heat and fresh water fluxes create global density gradients that drive the thermohaline circulation part of large-scale ocean circulation. It plays an important role in supplying heat to the polar regions, and thus in sea ice regulation. Changes in the thermohaline circulation are thought to have significant impacts on Earth's energy budget. Insofar as the thermohaline circulation governs the rate at which deep waters reach the surface, it may also significantly influence atmospheric carbon dioxide concentrations. For a discussion of the possibilities of changes to the thermohaline circulation under global warming, see shutdown of thermohaline circulation. It is often stated that the thermohaline circulation is the primary reason that the climate of Western Europe is so temperate. An alternate hypothesis claims that this is largely incorrect, and that Europe is warm mostly because it lies downwind of an ocean basin, and because atmospheric waves bring warm air north from the subtropics. The Antarctic Circumpolar Current encircles that continent, influencing the area's climate and connecting currents in several oceans. One of the most dramatic forms of weather occurs over the oceans. Tropical Cyclones Biology The ocean has a significant effect on the biosphere. Oceanic evaporation, as a phase of the water cycle, is the source of most rainfall, and ocean temperatures determine climate and wind patterns that affect life on land. Life within the ocean evolved 3 billion years prior to life on land. Both the depth and the distance from shore strongly influence the biodiversity of the plants and animals present in each region. Life forms native to the ocean include fish, radiata, such as jellyfish, cetacea, such as whales, dolphins, and porpoises, cephalopods, such as octopus and squid, crustaceans, such as lobsters, shrimp, and krill, marine worms plankton, and echinoderms, such as brittle stars, starfish, sea cucumbers, and sand dollars. 
In addition, many land animals have adapted to living a major part of their life on the oceans. For instance, seabirds are a diverse group of birds that have adapted to a life mainly on the oceans. They feed on marine animals and spend most of their lifetime on water, many only going on land for breeding. Other birds that have adapted to oceans as their living space are penguins, seagulls and pelicans. Seven species of turtles, the sea turtles, also spend most of their time in the oceans. Gases ocean surface mixing time residence time equals the amount of the element in the ocean divided by the rate at which that element is added to the ocean. The mean oceanic mixing time is thought to be approximately 1,600 years. If a given element in the ocean stays in the ocean, on average, longer than the oceanic mixing time, then that element is assumed to be homogeneously spread throughout the ocean. As a result, because the major salts have a residence time that is longer than 1,600 years, the ratio of major salts is thought to be unchanging across the ocean. This constant ratio is often referred to as Forchhammer's principle or the principle of constant proportions. Salinity A zone of rapid salinity increase with depth is called a halocline. The temperature of maximum density of seawater decreases as its salt content increases. Freezing temperature of water decreases with salinity, and boiling temperature of water increases with salinity. Typical seawater freezes at around minus 1.9 degrees Celsius at atmospheric pressure. If precipitation exceeds evaporation, as is the case in polar and temperate regions, salinity will be lower. If evaporation exceeds precipitation, as is the case in tropical regions, salinity will be higher. Thus, oceanic waters in polar regions have lower salinity content than oceanic waters in temperate and tropical regions. Salinity can be calculated using the chlorine T, which is a measure of the total mass of halogen ions in seawater. By international agreement, the following formula is used to determine salinity. Salinity equals 1.80655 x chlorine T. The average chlorine T is about, and, thus, the average salinity is around absorption of light economic value. The oceans are essential to transportation. This is because most of the world's goods move by ship between the world's seaports. Oceans are also the major supply source for the fishing industry. Some of the major harvests are shrimp, fish, crabs, and lobster. Waves The motions of the ocean surface, known as undulations or waves, are the partial and alternate rising and falling of the ocean surface. 